Okay, uh, let's try this uh, particular problem. It says, identify each of the following substances as strong electrolyte, weak electrolyte, or non-electrolyte. So remember, when we're doing these ones, it's, um, it really helps out if we can identify whether we have a covalent molecule or an ionic molecule. Even though that doesn't tell us, yes, it's definitely an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte, right? It'll kind of point us in the right direction. Okay, so let's go through these. And I know you can do these, so we'll just go through them really quick, okay? okay. So what is this one? Covalent. Covalent. And the next one? Ionic. Ionic. The next one? Covalent. Covalent. The next one? Covalent. Covalent. And the next one? Covalent. Covalent. Okay. okay, so unfortunately in this problem it wasn't too helpful except for the one, KCl. Okay, so let's look at potassium chloride specifically. And then let's look at that table that we were just introduced to. Okay? And is potassium chloride soluble or insoluble? Do you think? Soluble. Soluble. Okay? So remember when it's soluble ionic, what kind of electrolyte are we going to have? Strong, strong electrolyte? electrolyte? Is it going to be strong electrolyte? Yes. Yeah, okay, yes. So when you've got a soluble, it's going to be a strong electrolyte. Okay, so for those ionic compounds you got to remember that um, uh, solubility chart. Okay, so unfortunately the other ones are covalent. So we have to, and when we're thinking about covalent we're trying to identify do we have uh, um, electrolytes? The ones that we're looking for are acids or bases. Those are the ones that are going to be electrolytes or non-electrolytes, okay? okay? Or uh, strong electrolytes or weak electrolytes, uh, I'm sorry. Um, so I can see two acids up here. One of them's a strong acid and one of them's a weak acid. Can you identify which ones they are? Strong acid, um, HNO3. HNO3, nitric acid, so this is a strong acid. So this is the, the next step you want to do. If you can find for your um, covalent molecules which are strong and which ones are weak acids, okay? So do you see a weak acid up there? CH3C. Uh-huh. Yeah, so oh. this thing up here, remember, whenever you see that COOH or CO2H, that means it's a weak acid, okay? A carboxylic acid. So those are always weak acids. Okay, and what did we say about a strong acid? It breaks up completely or not completely? Completely. Completely, so it makes it a what kind of electrolyte? Uh, strong. Strong electrolyte. So strong acids are strong electrolytes. And then weak acid, what kind of electrolyte? A weak electrolyte. Weak electrolyte. Why? Because it doesn't completely doesn't completely dissociate. Is what we say. Dissociate. Okay. So. Okay. And then when we look at these other two molecules, water and I assume this is sucrose. Um, when we look at our weak acids, strong acids. Uh, weak bases, strong bases. We don't see these ones on there on those charts, so we can say that these don't do that breaking up apart. Okay, so they are non-electrolytes. Okay. Okay, so you're going to have to do that kind of going down through ionic, covalent, and then see if it's a strong acid, weak acid type thing. Okay, are there any questions on this one? No. Okay. Good.